Hey, Connor here at Never Sink Farm, and it's spring, and I'm going to get this bed prepped and planted. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. Uh, this is the family garden, so it's a little different than how I do it on the farm, but there's a lot of crossover. But the first thing I want to do is put down some food for the soil, right? You call it fertilizer. And I use just organic materials. It can be manure, it can be... Uh, dried plant material like soybean or alfalfa. You can use dried fish. There's a whole bunch of different things, but primarily what we're doing is just adding food, which will become nitrogen eventually. Um, so I just add that first, uh, right on the surface. Okay, a few handfuls. Uh, it's hard to overdo it, really. Um, that's a good amount. Okay, then I'm going to add some compost right on top of that. Right, so we just have our fertilizer, we have our compost on top, and because um, no till, no dig, I don't want to disturb the soil too much, but the compost, you know, it comes and it's very chunky. All right, that's not going to do much for my bed, All right? It's just a big block. Um, you can go along and try to break them apart or maybe rake it. But I have a battery operated tool that I use to smooth it just before planting. So I'm gonna go and grab that. All right, so what this does is all it's doing is smoothing out that compost, but leaving my bed untouched and keeping the soil layers intact which is something I, you know, really want to do. All right, so the next thing I want to do is lay out my plantings so they're nice and straight. Uh, just makes them look nicer when they all have even spacings and uh, much easier to cultivate. Uh, just makes life easier and makes the garden beautiful. Okay, then I'm gonna put the beets in the ground and I'm just gonna do a small section and then a week later I'll come back to another section because this is for the family and you know, how many beets can we eat in a week anyway? Uh, so I'm just gonna plant a small section of it for now. All right, so nice and easy, we got the beets in. Come back in a week, and we'll plant some more. One pointer is you just wanna make sure you're planting into a weed-free bed. So either you're gonna pull them out by hand, flame it off, whatever you're gonna do, just to make sure that you get ahead of those weeds. Once you get it planted into a clean bed, then you'll just cultivate it. All right, till next time. And uh, if you like the video, please like it or subscribe. Uh, that'd be great.